Michelle's um, stepfather, Les, is a huge Cubs fan, and he has this autographed picture of Ernie Banks that says, To Les, keep smiling, Ernie Banks. That is awesome. Um, <clears throat> we're a backgammon family, so we have this beautiful backgammon set. Not sure what happened to that last game. Looks like they didn't finish it or somebody got pissed off. Um, um, these are like all my siblings at their weddings. I have one full sibling and three step siblings. This is Alice. Wearing her favorite t-shirt. Hey. <laughs> this is a cool piece. Um, somebody we know did this one. And he made it and I just think it's really cool. This jazzy guy. You know, I Denver never even looked at that. Isn't it cool? Yeah. Look at the And look uh, at the scale. scale. Yeah. Okay, this is like a scale that doesn't really work, but it's just the funkiest scale you'll ever see. My three favorite pieces of art are in the guest bedroom. Oh, I love those two. <laughs> Donald, Goofy, and Mickey. We're headed to Egg Harbor. Egg Harbor restaurant, which is a really good breakfast and lunch restaurant. And I have to put my seatbelt on. Yes, you do. So let me put this right here for a second. Hi. Hi, everybody. And so we are going to see Michelle's grandmother, who you will meet shortly in this vlog. Michelle's grandmother, uh, Dolores, is um, in a nursing home because she has Alzheimer's. She's and pretty advanced at this She's point. pretty advanced, mid to late stages yeah. of all, probably late stages, yeah. but not quite. I mean, I've seen a lot of late stages and um, I haven't seen her for a year. So I don't know yeah, um, how far she's advanced, but um, it's a very sad, devastating disease. And, you know, her physically, her body is, is probably fine, but her, mind, her, her brain is so affected by the Alzheimer's that she, she can't remember any, anybody or anything short term. Right, um, and like, it's getting to the point where her body is fine, she can walk, but her brain can't tell her to take the next step. Right. So it looks like she can't walk, but she right. can. It's yes. just she's it's at sad. risk of falling. Yeah. And I mean, for those of you who may have people in your family who have gone through this devastating illness, it's just really, really, really hard to watch people going through it. And especially when they forget who you are. Yeah. That, that's really. And hard. I mean, that's going to definitely happen today. I haven't seen my grandma in a while. Hi. Hi. Hi, Dolores. This is my mom. Hi, mom. Nice to see you. This is my grandma. Hi. It's Michelle. Hi, it's Michelle. Right this way, guys. Nice to see you. <laughs> this is my stepdad. This is Les. Say hi. That word step really sucks. What? I said the word Well, step. he's actually my dad. There you go. I love him very and much. I love her, too. <laughs> Well, sometimes he does go by Wicked Stepfather. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, I'm going to push your chair in a little bit. Alice is really good with people. She's the best. She's the best. Alice is the best. Alice is the best. How you feeling, Ma? You feeling okay? Okay. You're on, you're on camera. Really? Yeah, you want to say... You're on camera. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Yeah. I love you. I love you. So, did they move your room recently? Yes. Do you like your new room? Yes. Do you have a new roommate? Is she nice? Yeah, very nice. Do you know her name? I can't write name. That's okay. Do you know her name? No. That's okay. She doesn't. I've missed you. Thank you. Mwah. <laughs> You look good. Thank you. You look really you. good. I love you. It was a wonderful breakfast with my grandma. On my birthday blog, vlog with a V, not a B, um, I mentioned that Jenny brought me a cake from Chicago to Michigan from Portillo's because Portillo's is one of my favorite places to get chopped salads and chocolate cake and beef sandwiches and we are 
near a Portillo's right here in Arlington Heights. Good place. We are really bad friends <laughs> because we are here sitting with our friend Ellen. <laughs> she's really hungry because it's Yom Kippur and she's doing the right thing by fasting, which I can't do because I'm on medicine. But And I'm not doing because I'm not Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Had her meet us at a Starbucks, so she can smell the beverages. She can smell the food. I'm not, I'm not in a Starbucks, so it's okay. So but she doesn't. She doesn't like Starbucks. So it's okay. She's hungry. You actually have really good color for somebody who's been yes almost oh, yeah, fasting yeah. for 24 yeah. hours and sitting in does temple. Does it give you a headache? Well, it usually does. But I'm yeah. not. Just, I'm like not like like distracted. You know what I mean? I'm just like it's like probably I good of, to. I like. I'm imagining this coffee candy that I. This toffee that I bought yesterday, I'm imagining it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what I'll tell you? What I'm, I'm now imagining your toffee candy in my mouth. <laughs> you know what I was worried about? That I would have like a senior moment and I would eat and I would forget that I ate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> without thinking. Yeah. Without thinking. That's, um, what that's I, great. When I, I was go so for blood work, I would forget. That when I, I go eat. for blood work, I'm like that in the then morning. Then, I'm I'll, like, I'll eat, but I'll forget. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now I'm worried that I will forget that I might eat yeah, by accident. Eat. I have to show you something. We are all now Fitbit sisters. Let's do oh, yeah. different, All different colors. All different colors. She saw that we all had our Fitbits on during the Cowgirl Weekend, and now we, I think like five of us have Fitbits now. We're just such, yeah. so cool. Yeah. Get yourself a Fitbit. It, it motivates you. You want to see the Send that to Fitbit so we can. Oh, yeah. And maybe we'll get free Fitbits if we send that to Fitbit. There you go. I have two 10-pound weights. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. It's cold out holding this ice. We are back at my parents' home, and this is Lenny. <laughs> Lenny is Les's dad, and he is 96 years young and knows everything there is to know about sports. And he is such a big Cubs fan that he got to go out on the mound this year. How was that, Lenny? Fine. It was fine? Did you have fun? Yeah, my arm is, uh, <laughs> needs to be refreshed. Oh, yeah? <laughs> We're going to put a new one on. I asked... When is the Michigan State game today? And he knew who they were playing, what time it was on. This guy's got the good memory. Lenny, you were the oldest living employee of Wrigley Field, right? Yeah, 19, yeah. he was uh, in uh, 19, uh, 1936. Uh, when, what was your job? What? He was an Annie Usher. You were Usher in 1936 and 37. 36 and 37? I worked for the Cubs, yeah. Wow. They that, the oldest living Cub employee. Well, here come my That's pretty amazing. Hello, That's an amazing man right there. And now my stepsister and my nieces are coming. It's gonna be hi, fun. Guys. Say hi. This is my vlog. This is Chloe and Lindsay. Aren't they cute? The game of Jenga. This is what good grandma and grandpas do. Hello, Michelle. 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 Say hi. Hi. You're all zoomed in. Why? Why? I'm enjoying time with my sister. Good. Okay. Hi, Lenny. You're on candid camera. Uh, You're on candid camera. I am. <laughs> I'm great. Scored. Go green. Go, go white. Go green. Go white. Green. Go white. Go green. Go white. Go Woo! Yay! Those are some Spartan kids. MSU. MSU. <laughs> and they just scored the extra point and they're up seven and nothing against Nebraska. Okay. We are filming Lindsay. <laughs> Chloe, is that your dirty Keeping a magnet on her head. Without dropping it around the entire house. Okay, we're doing okay so far, and Chloe is holding an ice pack. How are we doing on this? We're doing fabulous so far. Uh oh, Grandpa's gonna knock that off your head. I knew it! I knew it! I don't know what that is. You did really well. Look at how far you got. You did a really good job with the ice pack. Yes, you can try with the football. Okay, now I need to try that. Okay. See what I just did? I was like, ah! I did it! 
You did it! Did you see me pop it up? No! I'm not sure this is what an ice pack was meant for. Okay, I'm gonna do one more lap, but I'm starting here. Okay. Actually, two. Okay. Without dropping. Okay. I'll stay right here and see you come by. Okay. And there goes Chloe. And there goes Lindsay. Lindsay, you're fast. You just left the room. We have to leave in five, five minutes. minutes. Yeah, we're leaving in about five minutes. So we'll so all leave we'll together. You out. Sounds good. <laughs> That's going definitely in the vlog. I thought I've seen everything until I found the punching rabbi. Oh my gosh. The boom. punching rabbi. Boom. boom. <laughs> Do it to me. We have a special set of knives here. It's called the X. Can you tell why it's called the X? Because the knives go right through. The ex-husband. <laughs> or, or, or wife. Or wife. Or wife. <laughs> or wife. <laughs>